We transformed this family's home from what it was before to this. A fully furnished home with premium appliances. For this Changing Lives project, we went into the streets of Ajegunle to look for a family who could benefit the most from this home renovation. We started by speaking to people along the way. My name is Kudus Lawa. I'm a cobbler. I make shoes. Um... Juliana Apugo. I'm a businesswoman. Glory Manuel. I'm a hairdresser. So we could get a sense of what their living condition was like. I'm living in space me and slap you. I see different characters. <laughs> yeah, is that is how we call it? House rent experience is too high for now. Can you imagine a one-room apartment they'll say per month is ten thousand naira. And you pay for two years. Everything is so hard in Lagos, right? but we struggle, we work so house rent, Nepal B have eat their Income to their and then we met her, Mrs. Okoro. Do you mind telling me your name and what you do? I'm Mrs. Lori Kinsley Okoro. She is a mother of four and has a grandson. Here's what she had to say about her living condition. So it is not an easy thing for one person to cater for the whole family, especially when children are involved. Since uh, 2022, January uh, 16th, my husband died. Since then, we have just been managing. At a point, I wanted to take my life, honestly speaking. The only thing I felt, if I should do that, what would be the fate of these children? The father has left them. For me to leave them behind, it won't be an easy task for them. Is, is it okay if we like, follow you to where you live and just see the house? The house? Yeah. Okay. After explaining what we were trying to achieve, we were able to head down to where Mrs. Okoro lives. She currently stays in this one bedroom and living room apartment with some of our children and the grandchild. On getting there, we could get a sense of how the situation was on a surface level. If you initially saw me, you would just, you would think I'm more than 100 years old because I really suffered in the hospital with him. I came back, eventually he went. Since then, we had just been managing. It has been managing all over. We have just been managing. Because no matter the age, you may not allow your long, uh, loved ones to leave you. This is not like somebody travel. It's forever, unless you are seeing the person. So I'm wishing everybody long life, long life. Talking with her was quite chilling and I just wish I could do something there and then but that's why we're doing this, to empower her and her family. It's day one and we're with Chima who helped us with the renovations on the previous Changing Lives project. Right now we're working through what needs to be done. The first order of business would require us to bring every item out of the house. We're starting outside by fixing the cement frame around each window and a few fittings. We started having the cement bags come in and we also had the toilet seats, the tiles, ceiling boards and pipes for the toilet. We're also changing the door net. We're adding a new door to the kitchen, tiling the floors, adding a suspended ceiling and fixing any damage the stove has done to the walls. For the bathroom and toilet area, we're adding a door to the lobby and the main toilet itself. We're also tiling the lobby floor and the main bathroom while adding window blinds to complete everything. We also talked about how we would work with cutting coverings for the living room, the wiring, tiling and everything in between. After this initial inspection, we just realized we really have so much work to do here. Alright, so today is the first day of the home renovation project. We've taken some stuff out of the house, we've taken a couple of things out. They've brought some cement bags, they've brought the kitchen sink, they've brought the toilet seat, and we've also started some electrical works, as well as the ceiling, the suspended ceiling being added. So once everything is taken out, we're going to make some progress for the rest of the project.
while the rest of the work was going on and other fittings were being added, it was time to take the family to where they'd be staying for the next few days before returning to their home. We're heading to the hotel with the family. Uh, we're going to be staying there for a couple of days until the entire renovation project is concluded. Let's get to the hotel. Uh, we can be before we enter. How are you guys feeling today? Very fine. Great. <laughs> All right. We finally checked everyone into their rooms where they will be until we finish the renovations at the house. And we just had a quick chat with Mrs. Okoro before leaving. It's marvelous. It's marvelous. You people are trying. You want to make us to <laughs> look like heaven on earth. <laughs> all of you are just perfect. You are all good. You are good. good. Yeah. The tilers are working today, the electrician will round up today, the painter is doing some wall maintenance Okay. and of course this is the, uh, the new donuts that will be replaced for the room and the living room. We made significant progress as far as tiling the living room and bedroom goes and the rest of the tiling work for the project should be completed in entirety on day 3. Today I'm sure that we're going to be completing the tiling job, the painting job. We're going to be completing some carpentry work and um, some small parts of the furniture are going to be arriving but we're going to have a major part tomorrow. So let's get to it. As I rushed into the house, I saw that Mrs. Okoro left the hotel to help out. But I had to ask her not to worry as we would handle everything. Oh. Good afternoon, ma. Hi, God. You are here? <laughs> Welcome. How is it going, man? Secretly though, I didn't want to spoil the surprise for her, but luckily she doesn't know what's coming. We made some progress with the painting of the bedroom and living room. I also lent a hand in the painting process and then we were able to fix the doors for all the rooms, the toilets and kitchen. Speaking of, we also rounded up the electrical works, tiling of the kitchen floor and the suspended ceiling was completed everywhere including the bathroom and lobby. We later added the backsplash wall to the kitchen sink and also installed the entrance door for the kitchen. On the outside, we were also rounding up with the painting of the house's passage and on the inside, we were doing the same as well and we were finishing with the doors. We're currently on our way to the LG showroom to check out some appliances that we're giving to the Okoro family. We've done a lot of tiling jobs today. We've done the painting, we've done some carpentry work, with some electrical work as well. Um, we've made some progress today. So we're going to be checking out those appliances and bringing them to the house tomorrow. I can't wait, I'm so excited for this. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine items. Okay, so we'll go over it one after the other then. Yes. So for the AC, this is the one horsepower dual inverter. Okay. It's specified on the body. This yeah. is now 675. So this is the 675. Yes. For the TV, this is, this is it. This is the TV. Yes. That's um, a 7 kg washing machine, manual washing, one section, spin in the second section. Okay. This is it. Okay. Similar to it. We rounded up the day here seeing all the appliances and it's time to get ready for the big arrivals tomorrow. I think that's pretty much it. Thank you so much. That'll be awesome. We're going to be doing furniture, we're going to be doing fitting and we're going to be doing uh, a lot of the appliances today as well. Everything will be coming together and I can't wait. We've made a lot of progress. It's currently raining, but we're going to make something happen today.
It was all showers today and almost immediately we had the LG fan bringing the appliances coming straight from the Fuani store. So you guys came out right now, thank you. The kitchen is already taking shape. We've, the wall is painted, the floor is tiled, and the backsplash um, tiles have been installed. I think it's just left for the appliances to come in. But yeah, everything is looking clean and very nice so far. Can't wait. And as we were installing the appliances, the truck bringing the furniture came calling. After all the work today, we decided to head to the hotel and have dinner with the family before they came back to their new home. We organized a special all-you-can-eat dinner for everyone and it was fun all around as we got to catch up on how their week went. The experience is quite impressive. We also talked about Mrs. Okoro's children getting job offers courtesy of LG and Fuan in Nigeria as well. I feel happy, I feel happy at least having something to do, living the house of everyone going somewhere. Really nice. I also feel thankful. You know, it's not something we expected and it just happened. The extra way you went to provide job to now it shows we are not just giving you this comfort, mm. we are actually making you feel comfortable even while we are not there. So it's really a good thing. <laughs> Thank you lots <laughs> for transforming this place for us. I just want to say thank you to all of you, this group, and the, the company that made it possible. Hey! Oh. Hey! Yeah. Hey! 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 Thank you. Hey! 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 Thank you. Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. No, this is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Hey! My standing ovation is not enough for Father, I thank you, Lord. I thank you. Thank you. My Lord's suffering. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. You've answered me. I've answered me the way I did not even expect. You answered me more than I expected. You answered Who am I? Who am I, Lord? To have all this. The family was so overjoyed when they saw their new home, the living room and the kitchen. Mrs. Okoro had endless prayers and the children were elated. Have one more thing for you. are bringing As they were celebrating, I had one more thing. As a tech bro, I knew I had to give them something. So we got Mrs. Okoro a brand new smartphone. Hey! Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh, it is so Thank you. 
I'm so grateful to the Okoro family for letting us tell their story, to LG and Fuani Nigeria for this Changing Lives project, and to my team for all their efforts during the course of this laborious week. It was definitely tasking and we can't wait to share our next Changing Lives project story. Ah, this is, this is real and I pray for your company to grow from strength to strength. A company that would like to go for people like us that want to elevate us from grass to grass. I say, may that company continue to grow from strength to strength.